All right, welcome to the world of London. It's smoggy, it's foggy, and let's go. Okay, anyway, so this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. You know this, I know this, because, I mean, I don't know if you know. Anyway, so, um, oops, I marked something there. This, I am not a professional, if you haven't noticed, and I'm also a little bit under the weather, uh, which means homosexual. Um, so, alright, this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, it's shitty, but it's okay. I mean, not that it's shitty, but, it, but it's, it's an awful game, but it's alright for an Assassin's Creed game, I guess. Um, you, you do the normal stuff as usual, you stab people and you run around buildings, although this time they're like, eh, the running thing which made the series popular is kind of stale and boring now, so why not just let you have an overpowered grappling hook? And we were like, um, that's weird. But thanks, because it makes traversal much easier. Albeit, you know, slightly like... I, I kind of feel bad for not free running as often as I should, because, you know, like I said, it's, it's the whole staple thing of the game. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna do like a professional video IGN uh, GameSpot uh, game trailers uh, jo joystick... oh wait, they're, they're not around anymore. Anyway, um, just like uh, just like what I like, you know, or what I don't like. Uh, w actually, no, let's just point out what I like and what I what I'm not mentioning, I, I don't like it. So the first thing, uh, I like the dedicated uh, sneak button on X, you know, because, you know, when you press X, it's like, look at this, I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm a normal lady walking on the rooftop, just like ladies do, typical lady things, but it's like, <gasps> trouble over um, there, and there's a race, but whatever it is, trouble, I have to sneak. I have to. Oh my! Oh, I have to sneak, sneak, because I'm Batman. Um, which is cool. I like that it's like a dedicated little button for a crouchy, crouchy crouch, sneaky sneak, and she puts the cape on, which is nice. Uh, you don't play as a woman all the time. Uh, you're actually it's like a, a siblings, uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, and I just usually when I can I play as Evie because. I rarely get to play as a woman in games, uh, unless you create like your own character. Uh, and I like playing as women. Women are neat. Um, and yeah, I, so I like that. That's cool. Uh, I also like the grappling hook, as I mentioned earlier, which is you know, again, I just I, it's horrible. Like because look at this. Like look at what's happening. Like what the fuck is this? And then the grappling hook just, I don't know, disappears or, like, slithers back into the assassin glove TM? I don't know. Um, and that's all, I suppose. I guess I like the combat. Uh, they've made it way more Arkham Asylum-y. Uh, but it's not so easy to tell now when, when actually, when, when enemies attack. So you really have to, like, to keep an eye out. But doesn't really matter because you can still just wail on them forever until they die, and it just you know it doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. So um, you know I'm aware that I might be labeled as an Assassin's Creed hater, which I am. Well, I'm not. I think it's unfair to say that because I hate it because. It's such a wasted potential to me. It has such so so many cool ideas. All the newest, like every Assassin's Creed game that comes out, has always something interesting about them. Usually, but they always like fuck it up with not going with it so much. You know, it's just like it's sort of there. Um, it's it has so much filler. It's so much fluff. So much meaningless stuff. Which this game has much less of, which is great. 
but you know, there's still a lot of room of improvement. I'm not gonna go into detail what those things are, but there are. Uh, my idea for making Assassin's Creed really cool, I think, is ditch the modern world, because nobody cares. I know there's a small amount of people who do care, but there's always a small amount of people who cares. But ditch that shit, because it's boring, it doesn't make sense, it just it's, it's, it ruins the pacing of the game. Um, stop making it so hugely open world, and think old Hitman games, or uh, Tenchu, you know, those old, like, ninja PlayStation games, or the, 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 the new Dishonored game, you know? Uh, well, new and new, but you know what I mean. Oh, look at that, she fell and a boy helped her up. Wow, and you're just gonna walk away. I've seen that so many times. Um, and, and make it, like, look, everyone wants feudal Japan. Like, Japan, samurais and ninjas, that's what, that, that's like on everyone's, like, wish list. So I thought, call it, like, Assassin's Creed history. Don't make it a yearly release. Uh, like, really take your time on it. Um, and, like, it could be, like, shorter stories in small, like, in different times, like, in different eras. So you could have the feudal Japan, you're this young samurai who gets, like, his family and village destroyed uh, by this, like, Chinese emperor, and you want to kill this guy. You want your revenge, right? So, like... In, in, in a small amount of chapters, you'll get that, like, maybe pretty interesting, or if nothing else, like, satisfaction Tory uh, story and game. Uh, and, and, and the, like, assassinations would be different, you know? Like, the levels would be more focused, as I said, like, they're more intricate, there's more way ins and outs and strategies. And, like, let's say, like, this, this, this Chinese emperor has, like, a right hand officer or something, you know, and you have to kill this guy, but how do you do it? You could do it boringly and just, you know, walk up to him and stab him and he's dead, boom, whatever, and just escape to the palace or wherever it could be, or you could, like, poison his tea so he dies slowly and nobody knows why, uh, or you could kill him in his sleep with the poison or something, or maybe, um, you could bribe his guards, so maybe they'll kill him, and like, it could have an impact on what comes in the future of the chapter, you know, like, oh shit, I've gotta defend a civilian, oh, ah, murder, because that's how you defend people, murder, and he's like, oh my god, oh, jolly, good, thank you, please, can I have some more, oh, get item, of course, some children, forget about it, steal, and 30 of it, wow, great. Anywho, let's go down here so I don't get distracted. Um, and, and, it, and it can have an impact on, on, on like, the, the, the future, you know? Like, like, the Emperor gets more and more uneasy or mentally unstable and nervous because, like, oh, his, his officers and stuff are getting killed off and they don't know why. Uh, well, that's fucking creepy. You're just standing in the sewers? Which one of the turtles are you? Well, okay. Um, and like, if you just run around and, and kill those willy-nilly, like, you know, just like carelessly, uh, he'll be m more prepared, like for the final fight or whatever. Um, and stuff like that. Like, it will adapt. Uh, and I think that would be cool. And like the next like era would just be a totally different protagonist with totally different motives, uh, and also like a shorter like adventure. And I think that is a way more fucking solid way to go. And when I say chapters, I don't mean like the Telltale games, like oh, like cut him up for a year, you know. Just but it's like a full game. But like the, the the stories are shorter, like more interesting, more 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 well written, more personal, you know. Like you wanna kill these guys because they did this, and not like oh because they want a fucking piece of Eden, whatever that is anymore. Like it's in the first game, it's a golden apple that's super rare, but then there's like thirty of them like scattered around. I don't know. 
Oh, look, there's there's Piccadilly Circus right there. And uh, here's, and over there we have uh, the Big Ben. And uh, right here is the London Eye. Wow, London is fucking beautiful, man. Anyway, I, I give this game like, um, uh, like, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's shitty, but it's alright out of 10. Um, buy it cheaply, or unless, like, you, you think you'll thoroughly enjoy this, you know, because you can, like, tell, you know, by me playing this, it's still, like, the same shit. Uh, the missions are so all over the place. Some of them are actually pretty neat. Some of them, I mean, none of them are actually neat because they they treat the players like idiots, like all the time. Like, oh, you gotta find this. By the way, it's right over here because it shines a lot. So, like, oh, thanks. I almost got to think by myself. Um, buy it. Don't buy it. Well, actually, don't buy it. Like, not for a full price. Just don't do that. Because Ubisoft really needs to learn. I know they, they fucking make bank on this game, in these games. But just, you know... Maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't. That's, you know, neither here or there. That's the personal opinion. They could be so much better. Um, they look nice. I mean, the light, lightning, the lightning is nice. Uh, and I could kill these these guys for for your pleasure. You know. There we go. Assassin. Nobody knows it was me. Nobody knows it was me. He killed all the Jews. Anyway, bye.